All right, it's uh, June 29th, 2014, time for a container garden video to show you this year's adventure in gardening. Let's uh, start here at the front left. You see I've got beets growing. Again, these are my six-gallon pails that are self-watering buckets. I think I planted uh, maybe eight beets in here and I'm going to harvest them over uh, two different weeks, kind of smaller and larger, and that'll make a couple nice meals for us, I think. Remember my self-watering buckets are uh, a bottom six inches of water and then a, a, a floor and then dirt above them and uh, I can fill them with a nice fill tube here one inch PVC and I actually made a little float so I know if the water is down to the bottom which clearly it's not. Here I'm growing some cucumbers and uh, two different kinds but they seem to be blooming and hopefully I'm getting some pollination that's always a little tricky. Speaking of pollination I added a little bucket of flowers here to try and attract bees on a regular basis. They've been nibbled on by some deer. This is some uh, tomatoes obviously and these are uh, sun gold. I started them from seeds and uh, they've been very lazy. Uh, not nearly as big as they should be but they're, they're getting flowers and I will get some tomatoes. This is some peas, just some regular garden peas and I've caged them and I planted eight seeds and only three germinated. So I'm thinking a pack of seeds three or four years old has uh, lost some of its oomph. Here are some uh, normal green beans, again caged, and they're growing up to the sky. I planted ten beans and I'll let the wind go by and only uh, five of those germinated. So that's a little disappointing. Now you'll see right behind here an experiment in potatoes. I first planted a couple potatoes cut in half with some nice little eyes growing in one of my six gallon self-contained self-watering buckets. Uh, about uh, five inches of water in the bottom and the rest dirt. I I only gave them a few inches, three inches of dirt, and uh, and then lightly buried the half-cut potatoes. And as they grew, I mounded up, and you can see obviously I've mounded to the top of the bucket, and they've they've continued to grow. I decided to go a little crazy with these kind of plastic gunny sacks, and uh, you see four different levels of growth. I first planted much like this. Put the bag down in these 18 gallon totes and uh, put in eh, four inches of dirt and then I put the uh, ha cut in half red potatoes and covered them with a couple inches of dirt. And so after a, a couple weeks it looked kind of like this. Well then after it got above the uh, edge of the bag by uh, four or five inches. I would fill the bags to the top of the, the bags. Now these are bags that are folded in half. That's what's going to allow me to grow. Now after they grew a, a few more inches, I rolled the bags up a few inches and put in some more dirt. And finally you can see the ones that have continued to grow. They're now about six inches above six inches of bags. So it's almost time to roll those up again and put in some more dirt. But the ones you're looking at now were planted, oh, maybe three weeks ago. And then, and then these were planted two weeks ago and these about the same two weeks ago. And these about 10 days ago. So you can see the nice progression. And my plan is to grow the bags all the way up to their extent and uh, 
when the potatoes have grown enough above the bags, I should have potatoes about five feet tall. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of results I get from five foot tall bags of potatoes. I continue to add uh, potting soil, regular soil, and peat, along with a little fertilizer as I grow them. Now here we have uh, my more tomatoes, and uh, that's doing pretty nicely. Uh, I'm growing both Sun Gold, which has been our favorite in the past, and Sun Sugar, which we're trying out. These Sun Gold were bought from a, a store at, uh, you know, four or five inches tall. These Sun Gold were planted from seeds, very lazy. These Sun Gold were planted from seeds and have not been lazy. And you can see there's also a snap pea that I planted. I try and plant a few snap peas with them, let them put uh, nitrogen in the soil, but only one of those three I planted came up. Here I have a Sun Sugar bought from probably Lowe's and two of my snap peas are growing there and they've flowered and as you can see starting to get some some nice snap peas we just like them to be there when we stroll out and want one or two to bite on we're not going to need a big crop of them but i wish a couple more had come up and this sun sugar is supposed to be even sweeter than the sun gold and uh, you can probably see we're we're about to have some, but it's the Sun Gold that really has some tomatoes that are only maybe a week away from being edible. So, that is this year's garden. I focused more on things that uh, we like to nibble on, which are the tomatoes and the snap peas. A couple meals worth of beets few uh, little snacks of cucumbers and uh, hopefully a couple meals of peas and a couple meals of beans and uh, as always they're here on my driveway I put them on the little uh, carts so I can rearrange based on height and uh, and Sun and uh, it's been kind of handy because I can keep uh, I'm right now I'm I'm about from the direction the sun is at at midday. So you can see the the uh, big stuff is way in the back. I could even roll the potatoes out front but fairly soon they're going to be five feet tall so uh, I think they're fine. That's uh, this year's near 1st of July driveway container garden installment and uh, if you have any questions, post them below and I'll try and answer them. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.